Hello everyone. Remember at the last superintendent's meeting where we were talking about a countywide balance calendar investigation, um, we said we would come up with a podcast that each of you could create and send out to your constituents in your district. So today what I'm doing is um, giving you an example of what that podcast might look like. Uh, mine will not be used or, or shown because uh, what we want to show everybody is that each individual district um, wants to investigate this and see about the possibility of doing it together as a whole county. Um, so this is the first step. We're also developing um, some uh, a website with a lot of content on it. And Kim is putting together some flyers and newsletter uh, things that you can use in your individual newsletters and on your individual websites so that we're all saying the same thing at the same time. Um, the plan is for me to do this sample podcast today, uh, have everybody take a look at it. We will edit um, what we think uh, should be added or subtracted from the podcast. And then we will set up appointments with each of you to come around so you can do your own podcast. And while it doesn't have to be scripted, um, so we're each saying the exact same words, we want to stay within a common template uh, so that the same information gets out to uh, all the people across the county. Um, so with that said, uh, let us begin uh, the podcast. And again, this is just a sample, uh, giving you a feel uh, for what you'll want to do when we come around uh, to set this up uh, for you individually. Hello, everyone. Uh, Jackson County as a whole is considering whether or not uh, they should look at a countywide balanced calendar. Now, each individual school district gets to make this decision, but the school districts as a whole have decided that it would be best to investigate the possibility as a whole and see if it's even something uh, that should be looked at further. This is the first attempt to do that with a podcast, and this podcast is going out to everybody in the district and uh, starting to provide information about what a countywide balance calendar is so that we can come back at the first part of the new uh, calendar year and get specific input uh, from parents and students um, as we uh, just investigate the possibilities of doing this. So first of all, what is a balanced calendar? Well, a balanced calendar simply evenly distributes the days students are currently attending school across a 12-month year. It's not a year-round calendar because year-round would suggest that uh, stu students are going to school far more than they are right now. It simply takes the number of days that they're going and it spreads it out more evenly. It's also not a 45-15 multi-track schedule. That is designed uh, when you have facility um, capacity issues and you are platooning students. So in other words, a portion of your student body would go for 45 days and then be in a 15-day uh, break, while an, and then another portion of would come in for 45 and do 15. That is not what we're talking about here. We are simply talking about taking the current calendar and spreading it out across the entire 12 months of the year. So let me give you some comparisons, and this is not necessarily uh, what uh, the county would end up with if they were to decide uh, that uh, the general public and their constituents wanted us to do this. But you kind of get an idea here. On the left is the current calendar, and you can see where you uh, will have long stretches where kids are in school, and then you know relatively big chunks where they're not in school, but it's not evenly distributed. And so if you go to a more balanced calendar, then you see that the, the spaces in yellow when students are not in school are evenly distributed throughout the year. Uh, and and you, know, you can do a, you know, a little different kind of balanced calendar there as well. But the bottom line is, again, you're taking the same number of student days roughly that you're going right now, and you're simply spreading them out to create um, more breaks within the year. Uh, and, and, and so that's what, it, uh, what some possibilities would look like. Now, why are we investigating this? Well, um, as school districts, we really believe that um, there is a problem with what they call summer melt, uh, where there are large gaps in, uh, in instructional time for students. 
and they forget things. Uh, they forget concepts and ideas and you have to reteach those concepts and ideas when you come back in the fall before you can start on new content. And that feels like uh, that time could be used more appropriately to move students ahead in their uh, instructional gains. Um, we also think there's some operational efficiency uh, that could be gained. In other words, the stopping and starting uh, creates the need to recreate um, how we operate as a school district every single year. That means new busing routes and, and uh, new setups for classrooms and things of that nature that if you were simply running a balanced calendar throughout the year, you wouldn't have that start up and ramp down, start up and ramp down uh, times uh, that are inefficient. We also see in students and staff stress and burnout. Uh, when you go for a long period of time, um, as you get towards the end of that period of time, uh, instructional time, there's usually high uh, discipline problems. And, and, and frankly, we think that uh, could have something to do with people just uh, needing a break sooner. Um, and so if you stretch that out, you would uh, reduce stress and burnout. Um, we also believe you could have more consistent staff development uh, during this time. And if we were able to uh, align the school, the K-12 calendars with college calendars, we might be able to create even more dual enrollment and early college unbundled opportunities for our students. And finally, and this is a key point, we really believe we could do something in the intercessions when uh, the, the people are not in school uh, that would allow for remediation and the ability to catch up much easier than in our current schedule. Uh, not only would we allow for remediation during those intercession opportunities, but we would also allow for enrichment. Uh, opportunities for those students who are ready to move forward uh, to do some things uh, that are really unique. So those are reasons why we think this should be investigated. Um, however, we are well aware of the fact that there are some uh, challenges uh, that we have to take a close look at too. Just the concept of countywide, everybody agreeing to do this um, is, is a challenge in and of itself. We understand there could be child care issues. Uh, if you are a parent that has um, school aid students and non-school aid students, you're now going to change uh, some of those child care uh, situations that you have set up because you have to go to work no matter what. Um, and we want to make sure we understand that. Um, summer vacations are very important to families. Uh, families are, uh, uh, their time is valuable to them and they want to have family time. So we need to make sure we don't create too many disruptions there. And, uh, and businesses um, oftentimes uh, count on high school students uh, for summer employment, and we have to understand uh, what the dynamics are there. Um, extracurricular activities, how does this uh, affect sporting schedules? Um, we need to take a close look at that. Uh, infrastructure costs. Uh, when you're operating a school building in the middle of the summer, you may need uh, air conditioning. We have to understand what those costs are and is there an offset to that because you're not going as much in the winter. Um, we, we, we need to investigate that. Certainly there's uh, human resource considerations, contractual uh, situations that we have to look at and uh, make sure we're fair to employees as well as fair to students and, um, and how we work those things out. Also, we have a lot of uh, teachers that live out of county, um, and so they have kids that are out of county in schools, and then they come to work here in county. How does that affect them and their family life as they're trying to balance their, their own kids being in school and then coming to work on a different calendar? Um, and, and the same would say, uh, hold for students uh, that come from out of county into our county. Um, we don't want them to start out behind because they were simply on a different schedule in their previous school in a previous county. So uh, that's just some of the things, again, that are challenges. We think there's reasons that we should investigate this, but we also understand there are reasons uh, why we have to carefully investigate it and see if it's the right thing to do. Has a decision been made? Absolutely not. We can't stress this enough. We are seeking to have a conversation and an investigation about a possibility. We believe uh, as school districts, it is only uh, being good stewards of the public dollars to constantly look at ways to possibly improve uh, our product and what we do. And we think this is a possibility, but we are not convinced that it is the right thing to do. And now we are in the uh, stage of simply investigating telling people what we're investigating and asking for their input on the possibilities and the pitfalls of doing something like this. 
So what are the next steps? Well, this screencast is going out across the county. Superintendents in each district are sending it out um, so that the general public knows what it is that is being investigated. Uh, there will be newsletter um, articles. Um, there is a website that you will be able to be referred to to get additional information. Um, we are simply seeking input right now. Uh, seek uh, to understand before being understood, uh, understood so to speak. And um, so once we get this information out that people can really read and understand what we're talking about, then in January we're going to come back and have panel discussions in all of the school districts. And that'll be a chance for the general public to come and talk about this. It's not a debate. It's not something that's being pushed. It's just something that's being talked about to see is it something that the county should look at? And if the county decides it shouldn't be looked at, then it won't be looked at. But um, again, we think it is only um, good practice to take a look at possibilities and opportunities and see if they fit for us. Um, there will also be a countywide survey that will go out in February uh, that will gain specific information from uh, residents around the county on this. And uh, there will be uh, the use of local media outlets as we uh, uh, both uh, provide information and seek input. And then all of that will be uh, evaluated in the spring. Then we'll see where we go from there. And uh, it may be that we spend some more time investigating some things that weren't thought of. It could be that it is just dropped because uh, there is no will in the county to do it. Or uh, it could be that we would set a time frame uh, to move forward with uh, some kind of an implementation. Uh, here is a web page that is linked to everybody's uh web page uh, where you can find out more specific information about a countywide balanced calendar. Uh, so please write that down and uh, take a look at the information and, 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 and uh, then uh, we will be seeking your input uh, once you uh, learn more about this. Um, Ultimately, uh, this is the desire is to make this a countywide decision, not some districts doing it and some districts not doing it. I don't. Uh, we, we believe we would not gain the operational efficiencies uh, if that were to happen. So we want this to be a countywide decision, and of course, each board has the autonomy to make that decision. So um, uh, right now, it's about. Uh, providing information about possibilities, uh, gathering input uh, from residents across the county. And once that input is in, uh, we, we will take a look at uh, next possible steps and decide if that is to uh, uh, not have the, uh, the conversation anymore or have more conversation or uh, move to uh, implement. What if, if a decision was made to do this, uh, there would be at least a full year where no changes were made uh, to plan uh, for doing it countywide. So uh, this is a, a ways off in the future, uh, but we do believe that, um, again, it is the right thing to do in terms of investigating the possibilities. And so we look forward to this conversation with you, uh, our con uh, constituents, and uh, we want to get your feedback. Uh, we want to have a countywide conversation. And regardless of what we end up doing, we think that is a very healthy thing uh, for the county to take a, a close look at the possibilities. Thank you very much uh, for your time and again we look forward to um, hearing from you as we move forward with this investigation.